My name is Sandra Solani and I'm from Newport Beach, California. I started playing cello, it's probably about five years ago, but I've taken some breaks. And, uh, but throughout the breaks I practiced, but I went back and forth from taking lessons to non-taking lessons. The first time because I was running in a marathon and I took the time off to practice for that. And the second time is because I had a shoulder uh, problem, so I took time off to let that heal. But uh, I started probably about five years ago. Uh, I chose to study cello because it was an instrument that always intrigued me. I had been playing piano from the age of six, and piano came pretty naturally to me. I enjoyed it. It was a lifelong hobby. I got my bachelor's degree in music. But I saw cello as just a really unique instrument and a challenge. It was very different from piano in a lot of ways. And it just had such a beautiful haunting sound that I couldn't get from a piano, so I wanted to really see what I could do with a cello. Everything about studying the cello is helping me in my life. It is a lesson in patience, in delayed gratification, in um, discipline, in being a little bit more of a perfectionist, which I am not by any means, uh, and being detail-oriented. There are so many um, elements of the cello that I can apply to real life, from how I approach a challenge or approach a new task, to how I deal with my frustrations when I can't get something right the first time, um, to being a little kinder to myself and, and learning to say, okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, just just work on getting better a little at a time and, and that's that's true of any time you're learning something new so it's been a great teacher in in many ways my cello goal piece is arioso by bach the first time i heard carter play this piece i just fell in love with it it sounds to me like sadness and joy and triumph all wrapped up into one piece of music and the challenge of this is it's it's one page of music it is literally an eight and a half by eleven sheet of music and you think oh i can learn that quickly but no there's so much to it there's so many nuances but it's so beautiful and it's just one of those things that makes you want to keep trying because the the end result is so beautiful and so i have to kind of keep that end result in my mind to get me through the practice and um, you know help me break it up into smaller steps so that I can someday be able to play that piece. Well I do still love to play the piano um, and I do play it. I also love to cook. I'm trained as a vegan chef and going to chef school was also a challenge as much as I love to cook and I've been cooking all my life. Um, standing on your feet for eight hours a day and doing nothing but cooking is, is very strenuous and you get a lot of tension. Um, but again, you, you do it because the end result is so satisfying and it's, uh, it's a passion of mine and it's, um, it's another creative outlet just like music. I would advise to someone just beginning their cello studies to be patient and enjoy the process. It's so tempting to want to just jump into something and have this wonderful masterpiece and, and to play and perform. Um, but when you hear a cellist who's playing beautifully, you can be assured that they went through the process and they went through the hard parts and the scales and the technical exercises and the frustrations. And so know that um, the, the frustrations are, are part of it. And if you're getting frustrated, you're probably doing it right. You're probably challenging yourself. If it was easy, then you probably wouldn't be progressing. So be patient and kind to yourself, and it will get better, and you will get better. And, and just learn to enjoy it. It's, it's all good. It's all fun. I would say if you've played another instrument prior to cello, or if you consider yourself a musician, it can be a blessing and a curse. The, the blessing is that you know the notes, you know notation, you know rhythm, and that can be very helpful. 
but it can also hurt you because you may expect to advance more quickly and yet the cello is a whole different instrument than what you may have been used to playing. Um, you know, I played piano, and piano, if you play a C on the piano, the piano gives you back a C, and if you play a G, the piano gives you back a G. It's like a conversation. It's not a conversation with a cello, it's more of a negotiation. <laughs> you know, you play a C, and the cello says, hmm, really? <laughs> I don't think so, try that again. So you're, you're almost having to coax or persuade a sound from a cello. It, it, in my opinion, it takes a little bit more finesse to get a beautiful sound out of a cello. On a piano, you have to get the right note, and on a cello, you have to get the note right. And there's a difference there, but it's, it's a wonderful challenge, and it's, I, I hope I'm up for the task. <laughs>